Hi, my name is Shahid Bashir. And uh, so far, we have discussed several fundamentals of quantitative research. In other words, this section has been covered so far. So in the next section, this is pretty much important. So it's about how to write a good literature review. So for a good literature review, so these are the aspects one need to follow particularly. So although there can be many others also based on the justi justification of your research but this is something at least you need to put in a quantitative research while writing a literature review so this starts from introduction to chapter then uh, the dependent variables sorry dependent variable independent variables mediating or if we have moderating variable research framework and hypothesis and finally the chapter summary so I will try to cover this within uh, one two or three videos so let's see how it goes so okay just to write a literature review the very first thing you need to know what is the purpose of research so right now as you can see that each and everything while I'm doing all I'm taking is the purpose of research so what I'm going to say is that each and every aspect of the research must be fully in line with your purpose of research the moment you miss the purpose of research your research is going nowhere so now I just read this statement so what I will do here so there are three main variables okay trust in terms of its mediating role so what I will say this is trust one variable okay the another variable is perceived risk and then we have purchase attention so now what we need to see is that what is a, our area of main interest that is of course to increase the purchase intention among the people so now what it is saying I will do like this okay we have one variable what we can call perceived no sorry purchase intention okay then we have perceived risk so now what the purpose is saying that to examine the mediating role of trust in the relationship between so now what is this about relationship between perceived risk and purchase intention so I am drawing this relationship right now so relationship between perceived risk and purchase intention and the purpose of research is to find the mediating role among this so what I will do so if we do mediating it will come like this so this is what consumer trust 
so now in our literature we need to study okay remain like this okay so we need to study three variables the dependent variable will be purchase intention the independent variable will be perceived risk and the mediating variable will be consumer trust so now let's keep this in mind that the perceived risk might have several other components so as the other variables as well but what we are going to say here that if by finding or by reviewing through literature we come to know that there are several other components of perceived risk so we may include as either the dimensions or components of perceived risk or some separate independent variable such as perceived financial risk perceived social risk perceived time risk and etc